Get rid of all that cable stuff. Get rid of it because it ain't going to do you no good. You don't, let me help you a little bit. Pastor, you don't pay my bill. I know, but I'm going to you. You need to get rid of the HBO, that Cinemax, that, uh, 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 what's it, Showtime. You don't need, save boy ain't going to be there with that kind of stuff. Pastor, that's my house. And what I do in the comfort of my own house is me. And what you're going to do in the comfort of hell is going to be you. No, I'm dead serious. What is a saint? A saint. A saint. Somebody that's saved, born again. Why do you need HBO? Because you already know what come on after 12 o'clock midnight on HBO. Y'all understand? So why you got HBO? Oh, that's for, that's for me and my wife. So now you're going to take your wife to hell. Oh, you must have forgot about uh, uh, Ananias and Sapphira. Yes, Oh, you forgot over in the book, uh, Night Chapter, I think it is, uh, 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 of the book of Acts? Yes. When they got together and said, hey, we sold our property. We sold our property for 20000 but we're going to tell them we're going to pay fifteen for it. Uh -huh. That's not the number. I'm just giving you that number so you can understand. Yeah. And both of them agreed to it. Right. So Anna and I was going there, whoop, doo, 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 doo. Hey, Brother Paul, man, here my money. Uh -huh. He said, this all you sold it for? Uh -huh. He said, yeah, man, that's it. That, that's all we own. 15000 he said, uh, well, why are you, why, why are you choosing to, to, to lie to the Holy Ghost? That's right. That's right. He said, there's two men standing right there at the door. And they get ready to take you out. Yep. You <laughs> Go back and read. Fail right. right. And the Bible said they took the man up and went and buried him. They ain't had no funeral. <laughs> they did not have no funeral. They took him out and went and buried him. <laughs> A few hours later. He come in and like, hey, the Lord, Brother Paul. <laughs> Go back and read them. I'm telling you. It's in the scripture. Brother Paul said, hey, that sister, Sapphire. Your husband was in here a few minutes ago. He said, y'all sold the property for this. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, praise you. Oh, God. God is good. <laughs> she was all in the spirit. Go back and read them. I'm telling you. And he said, what? Why you and you, you and your husband chose together to lie to the Holy Ghost? Let me help you. Let me help you, Sam. I know you and your husband married, but don't you be in agreement to no crazy stuff. Y'all understand? Wrong is wrong. And so Paul said, listen, the same two men that took your husband out, they stand at the door waiting on you. And she fell dead. And they took her and buried her out by her husband. Yes. Now note this. Yes. These were two baptized in Jesus' name, yes. filled with the Holy Ghost yes. folks. Yes. 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 Speaking other tongues that the Spirit would give them. Yes. <laughs> but they passed out in death yes. because they lied to the Holy Ghost. That's right. That's right. Don't agree to folks that's wrong. That's Don't right. agree with people that's wrong. That's, that's the right. point I'm trying to get to. Right. If they're wrong, they're, wrong. they're just wrong. Well, baby, this all right. We gonna get this on, oh, especially during tax season. Did you hear that cry again? Especially during tax season. You ain't got but two kids. Don't put fire down. And people love it. And then some tax people say, "Oh, you can get away with it." Why are you gonna lie just to get a few more dollars? And then you come to church, <laughs> you know, you come to church banking. They're like, oh, you got that much money. Oh, the Lord is good. No, you cheated <laughs> on your taxes, and you're going to burn, you're going to smoke in here. I'm telling you that right now. Because the flesh want more money. So why don't you just go, if you got to pay, just pay. If not, you know. Now, there's nothing wrong with getting two or three opinions now. Don't misunderstand. But one person said you got to pay, you go to somebody else, maybe they, they can catch something the other person did not catch. Yes. But don't try to make it seem as if. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Because right. church folks are crooks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, church folk will, church people will swindle you out of everything you got. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord, they will swindle you. Well, the Lord told me that God ain't told you nothing about that. You just say that because you know people are sensitive. Yes. 
And any time they say the Lord, then they feel that it is the Lord. Yes, yes, yes. But can I help you again? Somebody say, help me, guys. First John, chapter number four, and verse one, he said, Beloved, believe not every spirit, Amen. but try the spirit. Right. And see if it be a God or not. Right. So every joker, every person that walks up to you talking about God saying, check that spirit. Amen. Check the spirit. Because right. God is not going to tell you something that's contrary to his will. But he's going to tell you the things that line up with his word. Yes, yes, yes. Because God cannot go against his word. Yes. So I'm telling you, saying, we need a total remake. Yes. A total redo in our spirit. Because yes. our flesh is trying to take over. Yes. I'm not going home fussing and fighting. Y'all better talk about it to me. Yes. I'm not going home. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not going home fussing and fighting. I'm not going on arguing all up and down. I, I, no, not that's over. I'm not doing it. Amen. Praise God. Because somebody got to have good sense. Yes. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And except we abide in the spirit, then the flesh is going to take control. Yes. Now, I'm not done with this. I'm going to stop now. But I'm going to pick this up next time. I'm telling you now. Because we need a total remake. Yes. You, you see on them shows how they go and redo people's houses. Yes. They had them old bathtubs and all that. And they go and be like, whoo. Well, that's what we need. It's not like it's not that you don't have a, a, a bathtub, but it's rusty. Y'all understand? It's not that you don't have a sink in your house, but that one was back way back, where they had the hot water in a spigot and the cold water in a spigot. You know, you have to, see, that's too far back. Now it's time to to come up and be renewed. Praise the Lord. Because see, here's the thing: you can fool me, but you can't fool yourself. You can fool me, but you can't fool God. Oh, you, I know. You look good. You look like you say. You look like you're obeying the speed limit, but I know you didn't. <laughs> Even coming to church today, some of y'all speed. <laughs> and you're on your way to church. How come we look the same? We, we come to church speeding. And then we say, Lord, don't let me get a ticket. <laughs> That's what we do. That's what saints do. Lord, don't let me speed and let me leave ahead of time so I can get the church on time. How about that? Instead of, instead of breaking the law and then asking God for help. Because that's how we do. But we got to get this thing under control. I'm telling you, saints. And we cannot allow it to overtake us. We got to put love back in the home. Talk back to me, somebody. One of the main reasons we don't have love in the home is because we're trying to live in the flesh. And not live in the spirit. Oh, yeah. See, when you live in the spirit, you can love your wife. Yes, yes, yes. You can love your husband. I'm telling you. But when you're in the flesh, that's all you want is flesh and things. When a woman wants a kiss, she don't want sex with a kiss. She just want a kiss. Baby, can you give me a kiss? Give me a kiss. Now you want to go to bed. That ain't what she wants. Amen. <laughs> Y'all laugh, but I'm telling you. Explain it on. When a woman want to be held, she don't want you to be holding and grabbing a butt at the same time. She wants you to put her arms around and just hold her. See, y'all looking at me crazy now. But I'm trying to help somebody. Praise God. We need to learn the difference. Praise God. We need to learn the difference. And most people don't know the difference, so they all, so we stuck. We all messed up. Because we have more of the flesh going on up here. Than of the spirit and trying to find out what this person really needs. Yes. Amen. Praise God. But well, I'm going to stop right now. Come on, stand to your feet. Yes. I'm going to stop right now, but it's going to be, it's going to be a to be continued. Because what we got to do, we have to begin to get in the spirit. And as I said earlier, it, it, it doesn't mean to get, amen. You know, that you walk around speaking in tongues. But it means you're sensitive to the needs of the Spirit. You're sensitive to the needs of God. What does God want? What song does God want me to sing? Praise the Lord. What dance? Even with the dance. What dance does God want me to dance to? Praise the Lord. What message does God want me to preach? What scripture does he want me to read? What does he want me to do when I go on my job tomorrow? Fuss and cuss? Kick the door in? It's bad when you go to work and some people hate to see you coming and you say it. <laughs> well, that first time they say it, I can't stand 
and then you walk around, oh, that's just the devil. You need to check yourself. You need to check yourself because it might be you. Because generally, people just don't hate you because you say. Generally speaking, they just don't hate you because you say. Praise the Lord. Generally speaking, they don't they just they don't hate you because you now some people just you know get the devil and everything like that. But most people enjoy being around Christians yes, yes, yes. or being around saved people. People yes. don't cuss and don't drink and everything. But when they see you coming, they go the other way. Because you perpetrating being saved, Amen. that means they see you more in your flesh than in your spirit. Oh yeah. Because if they see you in the spirit, they gonna see the calmness. Praise the Lord. They're going to see God all over you. They're going to see that. They're going to feel that soft. They're going to hear that soft voice that you have. Instead of you coming in like a tornado. Praise the Lord. And men, we're good at being tornadoes. We're good at being. You know what a tornado do? Just, just twirl on and, and throw stuff. <laughs> twirl on and throw stuff. And, 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 and make everything in disarray. Put everything in disarray. And then somebody else got to go fix it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. If you don't know the tornado never comes to fix stuff, no. it never turns around the opposite way and everything goes back in place. No. See, we, we love to tear up stuff. But when are we going to fix things? That's right. That's right. And husband, you the fix the other, you the fixer in your house. Yes. You got to fix stuff. Amen. I'm going to pick it up next summer. I'm going to tell you, I feel God pushing me, but I'm going to tell you, you the fixer in your house. Yes. If Sister David say something wrong, guess what? Something wrong. And I need to try to fix it or find out what's wrong so I can what? So I can fix it. Praise the Lord. Well, it ain't me, it's you. But even if, if it's her, I'm the fixer for her. Because I need to find out why she broke. Y'all understand where I'm coming from? So this is a serious thing. You know, and, and I didn't hoop today. Now, I can't hoop, but I ain't trying to hoop. I don't want you to hear what I'm saying to you. Because we're living, you know, church folks are some of the most miserable people. And we're on our way to heaven. I can't wait to get to heaven. What you doing down here? You need to enjoy life here. Praise God. Enjoy one another here. Enjoy your brother. Enjoy your sister. Enjoy, you know, the men. We need to get together. And just fellowship. You know, just the men. We ain't gonna be doing women bashing much. I mean, but we just need to get together. Y'all understand what I'm talking about? Because men strengthen men. Iron sharp as iron. Iron sharp as iron. Sisters need to get together. And just fellowship. Have a tea party. And just drink tea. Beginning of next year, you know, can't do it this year. Beginning of next year, you know, set up a ship, set up a shopping trip. You know, y'all have all y'all have money here. You know, set up a shopping trip here. and maybe go to Dallas or or go to Austin or go to Houston or or you know, you know, just just the women. Cause men, we don't like to shop like that. We don't like to go to the store and get look. We just go get one again. Now I come out with some stuff, but I don't like to just go look. So we don't need to go with you at that time. Y'all understand what I'm talking about? But you need, I'm telling you, this is the thing that we need to, look, you got to learn, praise the Lord, to, to, to satisfy the need. And I didn't say satisfy the sin. I said satisfy the need. Y'all with me? Let me, let me help, help you all, and let me say it this way. If your spouse tell you they ain't happy, those of you that's married, if they tell you they're not happy, quit telling them that they are. Because they know whether they're happy or not. And you need to find out why they're not happy. Praise the Lord. And if you can't figure it out, then you need to come get counsel or come talk to the pastor. Everybody understand that? Don't be afraid to come talk to me. I'm talking to the men now. Don't be afraid to come talk to me. Just come talk to me. I don't know what's wrong with why she's going crazy. <laughs> Everything I try to do, it ain't working. 